Jimmy, looking forward to hearing from you. This is something that you've done. How many years have you been involved in, in rice production? Since 1975. 1975. So I've been around a while, and uh, <laughs> rice has been a good crop for me. And uh, it's, uh, I enjoy working with the rice farmers and, and helping the rice farmers make a better crop. You, uh, just a quick test maybe for our viewers, if you could name three states where rice is produced uh, most in this country, what three states would you name? Give you a couple of seconds. Jimmy, give them the answer. Three states, uh, three well, top states. Well, Arkansas is the number one uh, yield, I mean, uh, number of acres. Uh, and then uh, Louisiana and uh, Texas and Mississippi and, uh, and Missouri. It's all pretty. Uh, California has some, but it's a different kind of rice. But there in the Mid-South, and uh, that is the area that I have worked and uh, either uh, been selling products to help the, help the growers or managing uh, salespeople to do that. And, Absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. So... The question to you, as relates to, we talked about corn here. What's on the mind of corn growers? What about, what are rice growers looking at right now, and why Agritain? Well, first of all, uh, we're looking for a good uh, good year with rice this year. Uh, it looked like the acreage is going to be up. Uh, when I first started out with Agritain, uh, that's one of the things that we tried to figure out. Uh, I knew from selling a uh, rice herbicide, the two things that was uh, concerning the growers more than anything else. And... Uh, that's a loss of nitrogen when it took a long time to get the flood water over their fields or if the ground was moist. Mm -hmm. uh, they knew that, uh, that they were losing nitrogen. And when you lose nitrogen, you're going to lose yields. And uh, urea is the uh, primary nitrogen source, and nitrogen is the most limiting uh, nutrient factor in, in rice. So when you have a product like Agartain that improves the nitrogen efficiency, we're, we're an ideal fit for rice, but we're not only for rice, we're for any place that people are putting urea or UAN sure. out, or if they want to put it out on the surface. Before Agritain came out, you had to try to manage your water, you had to try to manage the incorporation, or you had to, had to try to manage that some other way. Now you can put it out on the surface and, and uh, you can go. I've got some slides that I'd like yeah, to show. Yeah, just like corn that Michael brought with yep. us, you have some information I here for rice I have some slides that I'd like, to, I'd like to bring up. And this is uh, University of Arkansas. When, when we first started uh, with Agritain, we, we put a study out with University of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And if you notice the, uh, the urea, the, the three bars on the left there, the green bar is flooded up in one day. Uh, and you notice how the yield drops after that, uh, after that first day for the urea. The, the yellow bar uh, is uh, five days, took five days to get the water across. And then at 10 days, you have another yield drop. But look at the agritain on the right. All three bars are, the, are no significantly different than the urea flooded up in one day. So this pretty well pre points out. What farmers already knew, if I don't get my water across, I don't get the urea in, it's going, it's going to, uh, we're going to lose it. Yeah. So uh, we also uh, not only put out yields, we, we also look at how this, how this chemistry works. So we also put out a uh, volatilization studies, and we put this in the field to see how much ammonia that we're losing. And th this is a, a, a typical study uh, where that uh, you see that the red, uh, red line that shows how much ammonia that you're losing there. And the textbook says you, you're losing probably around 30% wow, or more. Yeah, 30, 35%, and almost so, 35%. And uh, so, you know, if you're paying $400 for urea, that's $120 that you're losing. If it's $500 urea, that's $150. And uh, so, but you look at the agritain, it's less than 5%. And this right here just verifies what we've already seen in the yields. And this was what the farmers knew, that they was losing the, the nitrogen and, uh, to the air. And when it's gone in the air, even though you paid for that fertilizer, it's gone. And they probably overcompensated knowing that and spending even more money to, to try to end up with a ammonia level that was going to work for them, and they had to put on extra to get to that point, losing 30%. And the bad thing about that is if, uh, if you put that out and you get a rain, you get it incorporated, and you don't lose the 30%, <laughs> yeah. then you're going to get lodging and more disease problems. And that's the thing that consultants have told me. He said, Jimmy, Agritain is the best thing that's ever happened to us because we can put out the right amount of nitrogen, put the Agritain on it, and we know it's protected, and we don't have to worry about what rate that we need to go. We, we, we know. Absolutely. Now, you have some more information to uh, Yes, sir. To you know, the next, the next step that we was talking about is the, uh, uh, when you put it out on wet ground. 
So we had a study down at LSU that, uh, that had the wet ground. And if you notice the red bar on the, on the far left there, uh, that was urea on wet ground. And the green is, uh, on the wet ground is agartane. And notice that the agartane is almost as good as the, uh, is no significant difference when you put a statistical analysis on it than the urea on dry ground. And before agartane came out, that's the best you could do is put urea out on dry ground. But look at the agartane on the dry ground. That was the best yielding that you have. And this is something that uh, the rice growers ha have noticed and seen, and uh, we become a standard in, in, in rice production now. And then we have a, like Mike said, you don't want to just take one or two studies or anything. This right here is four years of a summary of all the studies done by the University of Arkansas, Louisiana State University, and Mississippi State University. There's 174 side-by-side -side comparisons. This shows how much yield increase that the agartane provided over the straight urea. All timings, that's when you flooded up zero day, which you shouldn't have had a whole lot of loss at that time. Mm -hmm. 349 pounds. Three to five days, 580 pounds. And I, if, that just shows you that that loss happens real quick. If you remember that uh, graph that, you know, five to seven days, that's when the majority of the loss happens. A lot of people think, well, you know, you know, I'll lay it out there, maybe a rain will come in a few days. The thing is, it starts leaving real quick. And uh, so, and then of course, the longer it lays out there. But if you notice that graph, it sort of levels off after that about eight days. And that's what a university uh, extension uh, or researcher told me. He said, Jimmy, you've got the ideal product. When it's critical control, to control the ammonia loss, Agartane does it. And then after that, uh, you don't have that much loss. Uh, Agartane, I, I've been selling for over 30 years. I've never sold a product as, as, as consistent and as good as Agartane. Well, I can tell that in, in talking with you earlier today and learning about rice. I, I'm, you know, not familiar with the, with the crop necessarily, and so you're passionate about, you know, what it is you do and, and bringing the information. And now, we've covered everything you wanted to cover here before we get to cotton. And we... I, I need to let Dr. Harris talk. <laughs> I, I, he, he's done a lot of work in cotton, and we've got some work in forage. We need to talk about that, too. Dr. Harris, we look forward to hearing from you. We're going to take a quick break, and we come back. So we can uh, we set that up, that we're going to come back and talk to you about cotton and the forages and uh, agritain, how it works there as well. So you've got a tough act to follow here. Uh -oh. This guy in rice, he's got it, you know, pretty well <laughs> sold, and I'm ready to buy some. Do you I'll do, I'll do my best. <laughs> All right. You're watching RFD TV. Come right back and we'll talk about cotton and forage products with our guests from Agritain and RFD TV, Rural America's most important network. 